Amy Stornaiolo in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I'm Anna Smith in Bloomington, Normal, Illinois. Hello, this is Nate Phillips in Chicago, Illinois. Today we're here to talk to you about our article in the Journal of Literacy Research called Developing a Transliteracies Framework for a Connected World. And we want to begin by thinking about what a transliteracies framework is. Simply put, it's a framework that we developed collaboratively to study literacy practices on the move. The three of us began thinking with each other and our colleagues, students, and community partners about what constituted mobile literacy practice, practices in a digitally and globally connected world. In working together, we discovered that we were having similar difficulties in our literacy research work. How could we trace the complex ways that people's literacy practices moved and shifted across places, times, modes, tools, etc., while at the same time tracing the way those movements were unequally regulated, constrained, or monitored? In the article, we call that simultaneous regulation of movement the paradox of mobility, which we theorize sits at the heart of the transliteracies framework. In other words, to think about who or what moves we discovered, we must equally consider who or what does not or cannot move. In this article, we try to conceptually account for the instabilities and inequities of literacy practices on the move. And we offer a set of methodological tools for investigating these mobilities. We begin by examining two key dimensions of mobile literacy practices. The first suggested by the prefix trans involves emergent dynamic border crossing practices. A trans focus draws our attentions to relationships. How are people and things, for instance, um, assembled and connected in fluid ways that emerge in local practice? The second, implied by the root word literacies, involves the material aspects of making meaning. Taking into consideration both of these dimensions together foregrounds the paradox of mobility, illuminating how meaning making and power are in intertwined across social and material relationships. In other words, making meaning is unstable, emergent, and responsive to the complex assemblages of people and things. We spent the majority of our time in the article explaining how transliteracies researchers might study the contingent, unstable, and inequitable dimensions of literacies and how researchers can trace those contingent relationships as they emerge in activity without determining the relationships in advance. And we describe how this work involves taking an inquiry stance, which is not something we think researchers can achieve so much as it's an orientation that requires researchers to routinely question their own assumptions and positionalities while simultaneously remaining sensitive and open to the way that unfolding activity can be interpreted in multiple ways. Uh, we introduce four analytical tools for inquiry that help researchers to do this work. And those four tools are emergence, resonance, uptake, and scale. We describe each of those analytic inquiry tools, how we have taken them up in our work, and what questions we think can guide researchers in using the tools 